The Mayor's Art Institute is an employment program for artistically talented youth that uses an apprenticeship and mentorship model. The Institute has been creating world-class public art on buildings around Albuquerque since 1999. It was created under Mayor Jim Baca, and it's, it has continued through two successive mayoral administrations, those of Mayor Martin Chavez and Mayor Richard Berry. Over 200 people have contributed to the mosaics over the years. In 2015, we began work on the West Convention Center building, and this was an exciting year because we did a lot more square footage than we've done in three years. Um, we went up to 350 square feet from what we'd previously been doing, which was 200 square feet. And this also marked the transition of the program from just a summer program to a program that is part-time year-round for an experienced core group of apprentices and lead artists. applications to high school art teachers and we also share them via social media and on our website and we interview the best applicants in the springtime and then hire a group of usually 10 to 14 of our strongest applicants um, ages 16 to 25 to be apprentices. Each year we decide to go with a basic concept. The concept we decide to go with with this year is a very bigger one. So the program begins on June 1st. All the apprentices show up to work at the Harwood Sixth Street Studio. Um, this year we met our team of apprentices, did some icebreakers, and then we got right down to design work, started drawing. When we're in our design phase, we do a lot of research to really understand the concepts that we're going to be depicting on the wall. We have a lot of group sketching times, um, lots of brainstorming, we do a lot of research into different traditions and different um, the history of different images, and then we come back together usually once a day to show all of the research and drawing that we've done. And, through this process, eventually we come up with a with a final design that we're all happy with. During this time, we start cutting background tiles. Background tiles are random shapes that we cut out of slabs. We cut slabs from a block of clay, and out of those slabs, we cut background tiles. These tiles are irregular geometric shapes that we use to fill in the background of the mosaic. Next, we stack those tiles to dry. Once we're confident with the general design, we blow it up and make to scale drawings. So those are drawings that are the size that the actual mosaic will be. We take those drawings and try them on the wall to make sure we like them and that they'll look good on the wall. Once our design is finished, we present it to the Albuquerque Arts Board, which is a citizen board composed of people who are nominated by city councilors in different districts and appointed by the mayor. They make decisions about how all public art money is spent in Albuquerque, and we've had a wonderful relationship. 
relationship with them for many years. Um, they've been incredibly supportive of our program and we always really enjoy the chance to go and talk with them about our design. Once our design is approved, then we begin fabricating tiles. To make the design pieces, first we get the drawing and we divide it into tiles. Each of these tiles has to be under a square foot in size because it'll get, if you make your tiles too big, they can explode or fall off the wall, which is always fun. Um, so after we've divided it into tiles, we roll out slabs from our fancy slab rolling machine and we trace the tile shapes onto those slabs cut them out reassemble the piece into the whatever element of the design it is and then we start carving it um, we carve it as one continuous piece and then break the tiles back out later cover them in plastic so they can dry slowly to avoid warping and then we stack them up and let them dry. Once we have our design drawn out, we figure out what colors we want the mural to be and we'll do different color studies to determine that. Once we know what colors we want to use, we have to glaze the tiles. We have a collection of different glazes and test tiles that show what those glazes look like. So we pick the colors um, that look good with the mural and based on our color studies, and then we paint liquid glaze onto our tiles and fire them to get the colors that we want. When you're working with ceramics, it's important to keep everything clean. Clay dust can be harmful and the glazes can be harmful. So at the end of each day, we clean the whole studio and really mop it, get it, get it really clean. Cool. Once the tiles are completely dry, we load them into the kiln. The kiln will fire the tiles to a temperature of about 2,235 degrees. It takes about 8 to 16 hours to fire the tiles. And once it's cooled, we take them out. Each summer we do approximately 25 firings. Once the tiles come out of the kiln, we lay them out and we space them so that there's correct grout point spacing in between. That's one of the things that makes our finished murals look really nice is having uniform grout joints. So we lay them out on paper and trace them and this tracing becomes a map that we then put up on the wall and guides us for installation so that we know exactly where each design piece needs to be laid. Now that all the tiles are finished, it's time for the installation process to begin. The tiles have been boxed up and brought down to the site. The scaffold has been set up and the apprentices have been trained on scaffold safety. The first thing that we install on the wall are the design pieces. So with the map that we made previously in the studio, we put that up on the wall, um, cut it out and trace the map onto the wall so that we have a clear picture of where each piece will go. We adhere the tiles to the wall using a cement-based mortar. So we have to mix the mortar, add water to it, and let it set. Then we apply the mortar to the tiles, stick the design pieces on the wall and let them dry. Lots of times these are very large, so we'll use duct tape to hold them in place as they're drying. We install the background tile one at a time. Each tile is picked from the box and placed into the space to see if it fits. We need to keep the grout joints really even 
so it's kind of tricky. It's like a big game of Tetris. If something doesn't fit, we can mark on the tile and bring it to the tile saw where it can be trimmed down to the right size. This process takes a while, but eventually we've covered the whole wall with tile. The final step of installation is grouting. Before we grout, we tape off the wall and put plastic down and on the wall that we don't want to get grout on it. We mix the grout and then apply it to the wall using floats. Once the grout is starting to set up and is firm to the touch, we sponge the grout. This makes all of the grout joints smooth and also pushes the grout and helps it set. And once we're done sponging, we rag wipe so that the surface of the tiles is uh, shiny and we're done. Once the mosaic is finished, we invite the public to come celebrate with us at a dedication which includes speakers such as the mayor and some of the people that are partners in our program and who have supported us throughout the years.